Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Okay, let's take a look again on the euro currency. We see such kind of development on the of the price action on the daily time frame as we discussed yesterday. Since market stands its support, and that is the major 618 support of the whole retracement to the upside, it's 12463 area. Also, that is the weekly pivot support once, 12477. Although we have bearish trend now, as you can see market stands below this black line. That is some sort of the MACD forecast indicator. It shows the break even point of the trend by the MACD. But uh, yesterday we have suggested that since market stands at support in this area has been tested just the first time, it's probably market will respect this area for some by some pullback that we could use um, to enter on the short side of the market. You can see market yesterday has retested. This support line is 124.40 area that has been tested sometimes already. And now it's turned to the upside. You can see that trend will hold bearish on the daily time frame approximately to the 125.80 area. So market has significant amount of room to proceed a bit higher. And personally I like this area to watch for since that is area of Previously was the support by this price action, now it will become the resistance 12560 area to search for the possibility uh, to enter on the short side of the market. Now on the 4 hour time frame we see the picture is very close to the previous trading session. You can see that starting move to the upside, trend still holds bullish on the 4 hour time frame. Okay. So you can see that market almost has hit the first area of confidence resistance. That is 125.26, 125.30 area confidence resistance. And yesterday we said that that two, two areas to watch for. That is our preferable area of confidence resistance. Another confidence resistance, by the way. It's 125.58, 125.78. It also includes the previous swing low that we have just discussed on the daily time frame. Okay, that will be a nice resistance area that we should watch for. The one thing that we do not want to see is some explosive move to the upside, something like that. So right to this area. We need some gradual move to the upside that tells us that this is probably really the respect of this area, but not the start point of some upward solid move to the upside. Upward solid move. That's why from that point of view uh, this area is acceptable. Since this is rather strong area of resistance on the 4 hour time frame, even if we will become wrong, I suppose that's solid probability that market will show some respect to that area by some pullback from it, at least during the first touch. This will give us a possibility to place our stop to the break even and to control the risk of possible position. Well, um, that area is also confirmed by some targets on the lower time frame. So if we take a look at the hourly time frame. This is our parallel channel, although I have thought that probably breakout could happen yesterday since market just calling below the upward border of this channel. That is very common when the market is calling below the level. It's very often leads to a breakout. But this hasn't happened. The breakout has, has uh, come by another classical development. If you can see, market hasn't quite reached the lower border of this parallel channel and turn to the upside. That is the sign of the breakout in the market. Hasn't quite reached the lower border and turns in the middle of it to the upside. This is very often leads to the breakout. By the classical approach, the target of the breakout usually equals the width of the pattern itself, the width of the channel. So you can see that brown line to the upside is the distance between the bottom and upper border of this parallel channel counted to the upside. And that area is coincide with the confluence resistance. So that black line, dash lines are 
confluence resistance on the 4 hour time frame that is 2530 that is the lower body of the second confluence 12560 and you can see the target if market will follow the classical scenario coincides with the confluence resistance also if we we'll take a look at that pattern a b c bottom 1618 extension also stands very close to that area speaking from potential of three drive pattern that we have discussed yesterday um, as we said the minimum target of this pattern is also the top between second and third drives market should take it out that will be the 127 extension so at least market should reach and take out this previous highs that anyway will be very close to the next conference resistance currently our trend holds bullish you can see so market has some chances to proceed high also take a look at these candles right to the target points of the ABCD patron so you can see the straight up candle right to the 100% extension of that ABCD patron this very often um, leads to further continuation when the market shows some kind of thrusting candle right to the targets of some extension it very often tells that market probably will continue move to the high targets and one of them is 127 next one is 1618 right at the area of confluence resistance on the 4 hour time frame so here you can choose the way how you will act um, for instance you could try to short right here with the some uh, indicative float with some small uh, position and if market will proceed higher add more around 125.60 area but stop should be common to both of these positions or you just could wait for the reaching of that level to sh short uh, totally of your position and expect some pullback to the downside but the first respect to the downside probably better to protect your position with the tighter stop or even to move your stop to the break even point since if market will return right back this will be not um, quite common for uh, treating this move as just a respect of the 618 area on the daily time frame this is not will, be, will not be just a respect of the support but something more something something greater I suppose but uh, pullback bounce from the support the first touch of it reaching of confluence resistance and continuation move to the downside that is logical price action for uh, downward continuation if it intend the intends to come well that is our current view so keep an eye again on these levels since we have thought that probably market should done it yesterday but we see it only today's trading session so the levels are the same control your risk and keep a close eye on this development since um, that is just retracement and uh, control the price action around these levels because as I said we do not want to see the explosive upward move and if we will see some do not enter on the short side of the market wait for further development of the price action